One guitar riff. Not one guitar, not two guitars, not three guitars, you know, not four guitars, five guitars. Some with six strings, some with seven strings, all in different tuning. Let's do it, one metal riff and five guitars. And if you like this stuff, make sure you subscribe and do like that bell thing or something. You see, it all started with one simple riff idea. So here's the initial riff idea. Written simply in Guitar Pro at first in Phrygian Dominant. And you'll notice the way I play it, I have some different phrasing techniques than I listed in Guitar Pro. But before I speed that riff up and I really practice it, let alone develop it and create all of the parts around it to form an entire song, I really need to find the right string count between six and seven strings. And also I wanna find the right tuning that just feels right. So here's what we'll be using today. We'll start things off with the Paul Reed Smith Custom 24 10 top with 10 gauge strings and standard tuning, six strings. We'll take it to the next level then with the Jackson Misha HT6 six string guitar with nine gauge strings and it's entirely tuned a half step down. And then I drop that low E to match the D flat. So I'm in drop D flat. From there, we'll move on to the Jackson Misha HT7, seven string with nine gauge strings, standard tuning, but it's all a half step down. But then what would the Misha be without the Mark Holcomb PRS seven string with 10 gauge strings, and this one is tuned a half step down and then dropped. So this low seven string is actually dropped to match the A flat. And we'll round it all out with the Jason Richardson Ernie Ball Music Man Signature Cutlass seven string. This has nine gauge as well, but it's in standard tuning, but just dropped a whole step. And all I need you to do is take a listen and let me know which one feels the best in terms of string count and tuning to speed this riff up and write an entire song around this riff. So like do that in the comments after you watch and listen. And then it's on me to take that and do the entire song and show you the process in the next video.